When you use function that accept closures as parameters in Swift, sometimes you will see an attribute before the closure declaration, escaping. Why is this required? We're going to learn the reason right now. First, let's see the following function. It is just executing some work and then executing the closure. All of that is done before do something function returns. This is the default case for a closure has parameter. This is called a non-escaping closure. However, what would happen if we don't want to execute this closure right now and instead store it in a variable? Swift will complain because we don't know when action variable will be executed. In other words, completion code. This is one case to use escaping attribute. Just add it before the closure declaration in the parameter. With this simple change, Swift now understands that action will store completion and it has to be alive after do something ends its execution. This is great, but there is another use case for escaping. That is when we execute asynchronous code. In this example, we have to mark our closure with escaping because dispatch queue.main.async will execute our code at any time in the future. Again, Swift needs to keep completion alive even when do something has returned it already. In short, mark your closure in a function parameter has escaping if it needs to be alive longer than the function itself. One more thing before ending. Don't forget that escaping closure could create reference cycle if you are capturing self strongly for reference types. Check out more about closures and Swift in the description below. My name is Pete and this, this is Swift and Tips. Thanks for watching and have a great day.